Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, using three different methods to line up your vocals and your doubles inside Studio One. Lining up your vocals is an essential part of your modern productions of most music types, pop, hip hop, rock, R&B. To get a very professional sound, you need your vocals to be locked together so they don't sound out of time with one another. Let's go ahead and dive into the DAW to take a look at some different ways that we can handle vocal alignment. So here we are inside of the session and it's a little congested right now. So let's clean some of this up and we'll clear some of these things out. I only want to see my vocal tracks. So I'm just going to take everything that's not and just hide them real quick and I'll get rid of my browser as well. Now, these are exact duplicates of the exact same vocal. And the part in question is going to be this lead vocal with some doubles. So our lead vocal is this channel, and I'll actually even make it a little bit lighter so it's easier to see. And our doubles are going to be these ones over here. So now we know that there is some difference between our lead and background vocals. These channels here are other doubles for a different section of the song, so we're not going to mess with them. I just want to show you how to do this with a few different methods. Okay, so first let me play you the vocals that we're going to be listening to and aligning. It's at the very end of the song, which was a good section to highlight because the lead vocal actually ends before the doubles do. But I want to tighten everything up and have everything end at the same time. Let's listen to the raw vocal first and then we'll go in with the bend markers and try and clean this up a bit. Belongs to all of us, the life we don't know. So you can see the lead vocal ends way before the doubles do. And what I want to do is actually just take my doubles and shorten them up a bit so that everything ends around the same time. On all of these tracks, I am going to hold shift and click. So I'm selecting multiple regions. Then what I'm going to do is if you don't already see it, this is the audio bend menu bar and you're going to want to see it here and you'll be able to detect the audio within and change some of the guidelines for them. Um, we know these aren't drums and that these are just mono vocals. So we're going to go with solo and we're not going to group them together because we don't have a group going on. So let's go ahead and analyze. And you can see Studio One dropped in markers where it thought that transients were. And we're just going to use these and we can add more as we need to tighten up these vocals. And um, what we're going to do is put our audio bends tool as our secondary, or you can just click here and make it your primary tool. If you have it as your secondary, all you have to do is hold command on a Mac or control on a PC, and you'll be able to get your secondary tool with the smart tool. In this case, it is our bend tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and start to manipulate these waveforms to tighten everything up. What I'm also going to do real quick is turn off my snap because I don't necessarily want these bend markers to snap to the grid. I want to be able to use my other vocal tracks as a guide. So for the beginning of this vocal right here, you can see this double starts a little bit before the lead. And so we can just move this over to align it. OK, let's figure out our big offender, and that is this last vocal right here. Again, here it is without manipulating it at all. The life we don't know. So what we want to do is shorten this vocal. On the first double here, I'm going to put a bend marker at the end, and then I'm going to grab this one and actually start reducing it down. You'll see the waveform turn green, meaning that we are shortening this audio. If ever you see your audio turn red, it actually means you are lengthening the audio. We're going to do the same thing for our second double and shrink everything down. These are close enough for me. Now let's take a listen. The life we don't know. So you can hear that now our vocals are all ending around the same time. Although using audio bend markers is adding some audio artifacts. And if you don't know what I'm listening for, I do have a video talking about what audio artifacts are, and I'll put a link in the description. So we've achieved our goal. All of our vocals end at the same time. 
but there's probably better ways of doing it. So let's go ahead to our next method, and we're gonna switch over to our Melodyne tracks. Okay, to speed things up just a little, we're going to separate everything at our marker right here, and we're just going to apply Melodyne to this last vocal phrase that we know ends too early or stretches on too long, however you wanna look at it. So let's go ahead and use Melodyne that is integrated into Studio One with ARA technology. As a default keyboard shortcut, Command and M or Control and M on a PC will throw this into Melodyne and Melodyne will process the audio and analyze it. So let's start with our first double. I've selected the event here and it's changed which Melodyne window I'm actually looking at. You can do this with Melodyne Essentials, the one that comes with Studio One 5. I am using Melodyne Assistant because my workflow and my clients needed me to have a higher level, but you can do this in Melodyne Essential. When we're looking at everything here, we actually wanna to go to this tool, and this is the time tool. I'm gonna select this one in its default function. I'm gonna to go to the end of my note, and I'm actually gonna start sliding it back. But you'll notice that it's jumping. That's because Melodyne itself has its own snap to grid function. And you can turn that on and off by clicking this note right here. Now I can grab the end here and reduce the length of this note. But I need to reference my lead vocal. Well, this will hold. If I switch over to my lead vocal, I can now see where it ends. And it ends just a little bit after bar 49. If I go back to my double, I can find that and stretch to the approximate area where this vocal ends. Let's go to our secondary double and do the same thing. We'll bring it back. And there we go. Now let's take a listen to the Melodyne adjusted vocals. The life we don't own. The audio waveform on the arrange window still shows that it's long, but when we listen, we can hear that Melodyne has reduced the length of the notes on our doubles. The life we don't own. And again, I did this by eye, going back to my lead vocal, finding out about where it stopped, and then going to each one of my doubles and shortening the length of this last note to have everything line up. Now let's go to our last method, which is using Vocaline Pro 4. I'm just using the trial of Vocaline 4, but it really can show you how powerful of a tool this is. And this tool also has ARA Studio on 5 integration. Let's switch over. I'm gonna do the same thing this track, this track, and this track, all cut. So now I can go ahead, drop down menu for audio, edit with Vocaline. And here it is, Vocaline Pro 4. The way you use Vocaline is you set a guide track, what track you want everything else to align to. In this case, we want our lead vocal, and you can just drag and drop it right in. Now I can take these two tracks and drag them into the dub section down here, and all I have to do is hit align and process. Now let's take a listen to our vocal line vocals. The life we don't own. So there we go, we've used vocal line pro to actually tighten up our doubles as well. And because of ARA integration, we can easily render these files as well. And we can see the waveform reducing in size. Now we don't need to render the vocal line to our guide track or the lead vocal at this case because it's not changing, but our background vocals have changed. You can see that they are much shorter. With ARA integration, we can do the same thing with our Melodyne tracks as well and just render this to these tracks to shorten the length of the notes here. So as a quick comparison, we'll do a very fast A, B of the three different vocals so you can hear them all in action. The life we don't own. The life we don't own. The life we don't own. So there it is, our three different ways of lining up our vocals using bend markers, Melodyne, and Vocaline Pro. Which one do you think sounded best? 
I'm actually really curious. Go ahead and tell me in the comments which ones you like best. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timplansbum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.